Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. The Bahamas, the beautiful Caribbean nation known for its impeccable beaches and lavish tourism sector, had their first gay rights event in 2020, and I'm glad to hear they've been keeping up the momentum since. This is an important step for LGBTQ Bahamians because of the history of discrimination in the country. The Bahamas has legal and modern referendums stating that marriage is between a man and a woman, and there is still a heavy stigma for LGBTQ Bahamians in the country. According to Wikipedia, there have been several gay men murdered in the Bahamas, and none of their murders have been solved. Same-sex relationships have been legal in the Bahamas since 1992. The age of consent for heterosexual couples is 16, but the age of legal consent for same-sex relationships is 18. And though gay intimacy is legal, there is still rampant discrimination for gay Bahamians in daily life. If you watched my channel before, or if you head to the Colonial Period playlist, you'll learn the buggery laws or anti-sodomy laws put in place during the enslavement and colonization of West Africans taken to the Caribbean are where these laws originated. What is important to point out, however, is that the reason these laws were put into place, especially in the Caribbean, was because of Maitland or gay marriages, among pirates in the 17th and 18th century were so common. Oh yes, many pirates were noted to be in sexual, romantic, and formal relationships that bonded the two men in formal partnerships, and even bonded their material wealth together. Men who cohabitated, built lives, and even shared resources together is a Caribbean historical fact. During the era of pirates, the Bahamas was actually one of the main capitals or central locations that pirates used to congregate. Gay relationships or metalatage contracts that were happening all around the Caribbean, particularly in the Bahamas area. So the Bahamas being against gay marriage is actually quite comical considering that their own history is probably rife with gay marriages or metalatages since the 1600s. According to CaribbeanPrides.org, Bahamas first gay pride event was held on October 5th, 2020, and hosted special events in Nassau, the nation's capital, for an entire week. Caribbean Pride has a website dedicated to raising awareness and funds for gay pride events in Caribbean countries, including Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago, Bermuda, St. Lucia, and Guyana. The event was hosted by the Bahamas Organization of LGBTQI Affairs and community allies with aims to educate the public on the experiences of LGBTQ Bahamians as well as unite gay Bahamians into a community that can support each other in creating positive change. It's encouraging to see that finally more Caribbean countries like the Bahamas are hosting spaces for the LGBTQ community to see and support one another. Although the Bahamas is one of the few black Caribbean nations with laws that allow same-sex sexual relationships, these laws are not enough to protect LGBTQ Bahamians, and more must be done to make sure violence against law-abiding citizens is prohibited and thoroughly investigated. Big up Bahamas, and I can't wait to hear more about their pride events in the coming years.